At first glance, this jean seems to be a disaster. The crotch is way too baggy for her to feel comfortable. This happens mostly to people that have muscular thighs, but if you see it on detail, you can see that the grain lines are completely straight. Therefore, to fix it is so easy. I'm just going to pull out the excess of material. As I'm going to do it by scooping down the waistband, I'm pretty much pinning very close to this waistband. I think that the thigh might feel a little bit tight, but because these pants are new, I know that they will relax and be better after she wear it for a couple of hours. Wearing a little bit the new jeans before the alteration might be a good idea, but <laughs> sometimes <laughs> not so good. <laughs> Just kidding. So here you go. I paint it. Now it looks way better. I might need as well to do some darts at the front, but I will try to avoid that if I can. The first step, of course, is to mark my pins. I'm going to use today a heat erase pen to make my first marks. Now I'm going to mark my sewing line. For that, I'm measuring both sides and then I'm go more or less in between. So I'm going to take the measurement and I'm going to put it from the waist down. And this is how much I need to lower the rise on those jeans. It's a lot, right? Because I will have to eventually close that zipper sometimes. I prefer to put a safety pin so I don't lose my slider. Yes, that has happened to me and more than once. My next step is removing the bell loops so I can work comfortably. And then I'm going to remove my waistband. The waistband has a chain stitch, so that make it very easy to open. It's a matter just of pulling the thread and that's it. I'm going to remove completely the belt loop and this is what I have. My pants are free to sew. So now I'm going to cut it and for that, I'm going to fold the pants by the center front. So I'm going to make sure that both sides of the pants are the same. I'm going to pin my pants where my sewing line is. And now I see that I have those rivets in the way. So I'm going to pull them out. Usually when you remove rivets, you have to be so careful. But in this case, they are so far away of my finished seams that I really don't have to be that careful. So I'm going to cut and always when you cut with scissors, be very aware of the zipper because you have to go like in between the teeth because otherwise will be you can damage your scissors. So I cut everything. I left a lot of seam allowance around three quarter inch, but I cannot leave so much just at the edge of the waistband just because the buttonhole and the buttons are there. So, you know, it doesn't fit. So I'm going to cut a little bit more, just the first part. Why I leave so much seam allowance? Just in case I made a mistake, I can do a redo in an easier way. So this is the way that it will look. I think I won't need to do the darts as I was fearing. I'm just going to pull a little bit the waistband and I will be okay. First of all, I'm sewing the belt loops in the right place before I sew my waistband. If you want to sew that waistband a little bit easier, you can sew first the inside part and then you, got, you just need to top stitch. But usually they come from the factory in one stitch and this is what I'm doing. As you can see, I'm holding my waistband very well just to be sure to catch the top part and the bottom part at the same time with my stitch. Remember, when you go close to the zipper, you have to be very, very, very careful. To sew the other side of the waistband, I'm going to close my zipper and button it so I can mark just to make sure that they will align in a very nice way. And then I'm going to sew it. Oops. My, 
my needle got stuck so i'm gonna put it again and i'm gonna keep sewing until i finish and then i just have to finish the bell loops and give a quick iron and that's it let's try on on my customer and as you can see it looking very good but you cannot really see unless you see it on movement the reason why this fabric is so soft and stretchy is that she needed it for a dance and she sent me a video and i'm like oh my gosh it looks amazing so let me know what you think. Is this what you were expecting that the solution will be when you saw it at the first glance? Please let me know in the comment. And if you find this video useful, please give us a like. And don't forget to subscribe, share, comment. Bye.